Rejoice. This is the place where we meet to revisit, together but apart, some of the best of the Ottawa Symphony's 55 years of playing for our community. Merci de vous joindre à nous pour réécouter notre belle musique. Mais avant de passer à la musique, and before we get to the memories and music, please consider helping to keep the Ottawa Symphony tuned during this challenging time for our performing orchestra. Merci de garder votre orchestre à l'écoute. You can help at ottawasymphony.com slash donate. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this webcast concert presented by the Ottawa Symphony Orchestra. My name is Andrew MacDonald, and I'm speaking to you from my home in Sherbrooke, Quebec. I've been composing music for over 50 years, having written many symphonic works, operas, chamber music, choral works, and 13 concertos, including tonight's featured piece, The Orchid Garden, a concerto for tenor saxophone and orchestra, which I completed in 2015. This work was inspired by a visit to a beautiful orchid garden in Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic, and by the mellifluous playing of the great tenor saxophonist Ralph Bowen, a friend from my childhood days in Guelph, Ontario. Those images and sounds came together in my mind to form this concerto, which I set in three contrasting movements, with the first separated from the second by a virtuosic cadenza. In this composition, I pay tribute to jazz icon Charlie Parker by taking the first five notes from his composition, Yardbird Suite, and using them as a recurring motive throughout. Here's the opening phrase of Yardbird Suite, which sounds like this. Do, 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 do. You can hear this motive, for example, in the opening saxophone figure and for full orchestra just before the cadenza at the end of the first movement. As well, I used this motive as a structural bass theme throughout the second movement, and as the rondo theme in the last movement, where it appears transposed to each of the five notes of the theme itself. I should also point out that I put cadenzas in the last movement, which are to be completely improvised by the soloist. This is a practice dating back to the early days of the classical concerto, but I'm also making reference to the great tradition of jazz improvisation. The soloist in this premiere performance is the brilliant Jeremy Brown, seen on the right in this photo, along with myself and the wonderful conductor of the Ottawa Symphony Orchestra, Alain Trudel. I wish to thank Jeremy for his stunning and truly inspirational performance of my concerto. His musicality and technique are simply mind-blowing. And a heartfelt thanks to Alain for taking on this piece and for directing it in such an exacting and excellent fashion. I am truly blessed to be able to compose for such superior artists. If you'd like to know more about my work, please visit my website at andrewpaulmcdonald.com. Thanks and enjoy the concert.
Thank <laughs> you. 
This episode of Rejoice was brought to you by supporters like you. Nous tenons également à remercier nos bailleurs de fonds et partenaires, la Ville d'Ottawa, l'Université d'Ottawa, le Conseil des arts de l'Ontario, the Ontario Arts Foundation, the Ottawa Community Foundation, the Crabtree Foundation, the Canada Council for the Arts, Unique FM 94.5, and Alterna Savings. Rejoice is brought to you by the musicians past and present of the Ottawa Symphony Orchestra. En réalisation, nous remercions David Gardner, Anna Trudel, Jem Douglas, Cresta de Graff, Sean Peters, James Law of the Attic Studio, and me, Kate Holmes. Thank you for joining us, and thanks for keeping tuned to the Ottawa Symphony. Join us next time. À la prochaine!